morning, ladies. There we go. We'll get going in a minute. Just make sure everybody's jumped in. It's gonna jump in. you like you can modify you can opt out and watch watching is always learning we will start in a comfortable seat I'll have to excuse my dogs they're gonna bark at something so finding your way into your comfortable seat sit up nice and tall relax the legs Relax the eyes, maybe even closing the eyes if that feels okay for you. Start to slow the breath. Notice the effects on the body as soon as you begin to close the eyes and tune in and slow the breath. So in times of uncertainty, we often can get a little anxious and yoga gives us a couple of tools to help with that. So we'll be using a few of those tools today. One is breath, as always. And the other one is physical grounding. So we're gonna be doing that during practice today. So the actual physical touch of the mat or the ground underneath you, maybe even feeling now into the heaviness of the hands on the thighs. Feeling every part of your body that touches the mat. Maybe it's the big toes, maybe it's the little toes, depending on how you're sitting. Maybe it's the outsides of the thighs, the glutes. Feeling everything that contacts the earth. Feeling sturdy, feeling secured. Feeling heavy into your mat. Moving from here into our pranayama, exhale everything out of the lungs, get all the stale air out, inhale for a count of one, two, three, four, exhale four, three, two, one, inhale one, two, three, four, exhale four, three, two, one, continue with your own count. Feeling a little more length with every inhale. Feel the body relax down into the mat with every exhale. Still noticing all the parts of the body that are touching the mat. Two more rounds of this counted breath. When you're done with the two rounds, you can blink the eyes open. You can wiggle around in your seat, just take any movements that you like, just kind of warming up the body here. It's starting to wake up just a little. Some movements from side to side, shoulder rolls, neck rolls, whatever feels good here. And then moving back into your sturdy, comfortable seat, sitting up tall. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, big stretch. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Last time, inhale, sweep high. Stay this time. 
Relax the shoulders from the ears, lengthen through the arms. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the arms down halfway, extend them from side to side, bring the right arm over the left arm, bend the elbows, maybe you do back to back, maybe you take the extra rep, finding our way into eagle arms or whatever modification works for you. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the gaze, a little back bend here. Exhale, curl in, bring the elbows in towards the belly. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, curl in. Last time, inhale, reach, look up, nice and tall, lift the chest, exhale, come back in. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, unwind, shake it out, roll through the shoulders, roll through the arms, switch sides. Left arm over right, maybe just back to back, maybe you take the extra wrap and go palm to palm. Try to keep the elbows in line with the shoulders, so not dipping down. Really lifting here, feeling the shoulder blades open. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pow through. Last time, inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, unwind, shake it out. Move the hands behind the back, clasp the hands together, root the knuckles down, lift through the chest. Maybe you lift the gaze. If this is not accessible for you, you can do wrist to wrist behind the back or elbow to elbow behind the back. It just depends on what feels better for you. We'll be doing this a lot today. We're warming up the shoulders for something that I have planned. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, release the hands down by the sides. Bring the hands behind you and lift the chest. So you can stay here if you like or you can unwind the legs and find your way into a reverse table. But this, you can stay here. This is a nice opening for the shoulders too. Or if a reverse table works for you, lifting up. You don't have to come all the way. Maybe your seat just lifts a little off the mat. Finding your way into reverse table. Option to stay. If you'd like to add a little something here, you can turn the fingertips towards the heels and then bend the elbows. Give a little tricep work here, press back up. Bend the elbows, press back up. Last time, bend the elbows, press back up. Lower the seat, come around, find your way into tabletop position. Take any movements that you like in tabletop. Maybe you wiggle through the hips, through the head. Maybe take some wrist stretches, turning the fingertips. Rocking from side to side, maybe take some calf stretches. Just taking a time to orient yourself onto your mat. And then find your way back into tabletop position. Pressing firmly into all parts of the hands. Feel the contact of the hands into the earth, into your mat. Feel the contact of the tops of the feet into the mat. So not pressing hard, just feeling it here. Inhale. Head up, tailbone up, drop the belly, gaze forward. Exhale, lower the head, lower the tailbone, arch through the mid-back. Inhale, head up, tailbone up, gaze forward. Exhale, lower the head, lower the tailbone, press into the hands. Keep going with your own breath. Really using the belly here. So when the belly drops, you're not actually releasing the core. So keep the belly toned for this entire series. One more round. Come back to your neutral tabletop position. Inhale, sweep the left arm high. Exhale, thread it underneath the body towards the other side. We're going to lower down, but we're not going to come all the way down. Inhale, sweep back high. Exhale, thread it under, start to lower. Inhale, sweep high. Last time. Exhale, thread it under. Now you can drop down onto the shoulder if you like. If you'd like to add a little bit of ab work here, you can. Press into the right palm, extend the right leg behind you. Exhale, bring the knee in towards the elbow that's on the ground. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend it in one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend it in, drop the knee. 
Do anything you like with the right hand. You can extend it forward. You can bring it behind you and reach towards the opposite hip. Enjoy a few breaths here in the stretch. Really let your body weight come down onto that left side. So we often resist it. Don't resist it. If the right hand is anywhere but in front of the face, move it back. One more time. Inhale, sweep high, left arm up. Exhale, left arm down, switch sides. Inhale, right arm sweeps up. Exhale, thread it under, but don't come all the way down. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, thread it under. One more time. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, thread it under. Drop this time. Come onto the shoulder. Option for the ab work, if you like, extend the left leg behind you. Plant the left hand. That's your sturdy hand. Left knee towards the elbow that's on the ground. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in and drop. Do what you like with the left arm. Again, relaxing your weight into that right arm into the right temple. Feel the connection of the temple onto the mat. If the left hand is anywhere but in front of the face, move it back. Inhale, sweep the right arm high one more time. Exhale, right hand comes down. Tuck the toes, hover the knees about an inch or two off of the mat. Just spreading our way into a hovering table, starting to wake up the core. Option to stay here, option to do some knee taps, left knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. Left knee, left elbow. Right knee, right elbow. Keep going, or just stay in your hovering table, or stay in table if, that's word, if that works better for you. One more on each side, and then find a little stillness. Press back, down dog. Option to move, option to pedal the feet. Bend through the knees, whatever feels good here. Moving around in your down dog. When you find a little stillness, press firmly into all parts of the hands. And imagine as if you could press your mat forward with your hands. That'll help press your chest back, grounding into the feet. Maybe the entire bottom of the foot isn't on the mat, that's okay. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rock forward into your plank position. Drop the knees, find a modified plank. Squeeze the elbows in, lower halfway down. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower half. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower half. Inhale, press up. Exhale, lower all the way down. Flip the toes. Inhale, cobra pose. Peel the head, the chest up off of the mat. Press into the tops of the feet. Press the belly into the mat. Squeeze the elbows together, open the chest. Exhale, lower down. Bring the forearms directly underneath the shoulders. Elbows under shoulders, forearms press into the mat, sphinx pose. Gazing forward. Core is strong here. Relax the glutes, relax the legs. Option to stay, option to splay the hands and press into the hands, straighten the elbows, find seal pose. This is an intense back bend, so it doesn't work for you. You can stay down in Sphinx or you can stay in Cobra. One more breath here. Exhale, lower down onto the forearms, bring the hands directly underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the kneecaps off of the mat, press up, plank position, press back. Down dog, two breaths. From here, bend the knees. Look forward, walk step or lightly hop forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Stay here. Bend the knees. Option to grasp opposite elbows. Option to grasp the elbows behind the legs. Whatever works for you here, you can sway from side to side. 
Just take a few moments to wake up the hamstrings. Two more breaths. Exhale, release any bind that you may have. Inhale, roll up nice and slow. Find your way into mountain pose. Palms facing forward. Close the eyes for a moment and notice where the weight is in the feet. Are you rocked all the way into the heels? Are you rocked all the way into the balls of the feet? Can you find equilibrium? Can you distribute your weight evenly without gripping your toes? So even lifting the toes up off of the mat and setting them back down very, very lightly. One breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, clasp the hands together, press the palms up towards the sky. Side bend over to the left. Inhale to center. Side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands behind you. Clasp the hands together, root the knuckles down, lift through the chest. Inhale. Option to stay, option to fold. Exhale, dive down. Maybe the arms come off the low mat, maybe they don't. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hands down to heart center. One more time, just like that. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, clasp the hands together, press the palms up towards the sky, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Side bend right. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands behind you, clasp them together, root the knuckles down, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Maybe the arms spill over the low back, maybe they don't. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands down to heart center, alongside the body, finding our way into mountain pose. We're going to take three sets of sun salutation A, warm up the body. You can modify if you like by lowering the knees. I'm taking cobra instead of up dog. I'm going to do chaturangas um, and the up dog. So if you don't know what that looks like, you can watch me. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, find plank, take an inhale in the plank. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra, back bend. Exhale, press back, down dog, hips high, heels low. Three breaths. Again, feeling the connection of hands and feet into mat. Maybe you sway from side to side in the feet. Just to play with the weight distribution here. On your exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step, or lightly pop forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep high, look up. Exhale, right back down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, take it back, plank position. Take an inhale in the plank. Exhale, lower half. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk step, or lightly hop forward, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands down, all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank the hands, step back, find your plank, feel long, feel strong in your plank, press into your hands, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, press back, down dog, hips high. Again, pressing firmly into the mat as if you're trying to press the top of the mat forward. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk step or hop forward, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands down to heart center. 
and then alongside the body. Let's take two breaths in mountain pose. Slowing the breath here. From here, inhale, lift the arms up in front of you, palms facing down as you come up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, lower the hips. Finding a modified chair pose here. So really pressing the shins forward as we lift the heels. You can lower the heels if that feels better for you. Try to stack shoulders over hips. Ooh, too much. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, lower the heels, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back with the left foot into your lunge. The hands are planted. See if you can come up onto the fingertips. Maybe you're using blocks. Maybe you can lift up, use your leg strength here. So not all the way, we're just kind of lifting up halfway, using the core here to keep us nice and steady and strong. Drop the left fingertips down to the mat, twist right, right hand up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, right hand threads underneath the leg, give it a squeeze. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread and squeeze. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread and squeeze. Last time, inhale, open. Exhale, right hand comes down to frame the front foot. Lower the left knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, lift up, find a low lunge. Pressing firmly into that right heel to lift up out of that right thigh. So we don't want to lay across that right thigh. So use the weight of the pressing into the heel to lift. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hands behind the back, clasp the hands together, root the knuckles down, lift the chest, maybe you deepen the back bend. Maybe the knuckles start to travel along the back of the left thigh. One more breath. Exhale, release the hands. They come to bring the front foot. Start to straighten through the right knee. Right toes towards the sky. Send the hips towards the back of the room. Finding a little hamstring stretch here. Option to stay lifted. Option to lower over the extended leg. If you're looking for something more, you can actively try to press that right heel into the mat as you try to drag your right glute backwards. Feel a connection of hands, of the top of the left foot, of the right heel, into the mat. Inhale, come back into your lunge. Tuck the left toes under, left foot steps forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands down to heart center, mountain pose. For a mountain pose, inhale, arms up in front of you, palms facing down, come up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, lower the hips. Maybe you can lift your heels higher. Maybe you can lower your seat a little more. Inhale. Exhale, lower the heels, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hand. Right foot goes back this time in for your lunge. Maybe the fingertips stay down. Maybe you hover. Taking a few breaths here in the lunge. Really pressing back through that right heel pressing into those right toes. Feel all five of the right toes press into the mat. Inhale. Exhale, drop the right fingertips, twist left, left hand up towards the sky, stack shoulder over shoulder. Exhale, left arm threads under, give the leg a squeeze. Inhale, open. Exhale, leg hug. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open. Exhale, left hand down to frame the front foot. Right knee down on top of the toe. Inhale, lift up. Low lunge. 
Again, press into that left heel to find that extra lift, lift of the chest, relax the arms. Breath in, breath out, breath in. Hands come behind the back, root the knuckles down, lift the chest, maybe deepen the back bend. Find stability in that left heel. Slowly release the hands. They come to frame the front foot. Left leg starts to straighten. Left toes towards the sky. Again, you can stay lifted or you can lower down. If you're looking for something more, press firmly into the left heel as you try to drag your left glute towards the back of your mat. Inhale, come back into the lunge. Tuck the right toes under, right knee hovers off of the mat. Step back, plank position. Option to go right into down dog, option to take a flow. Extended side angle, left forearm, left thigh, right arm reaches overhead. If you feel warmed up enough for a bind or a half bind, you can bring the right hand behind the back, reach it towards the left hip. Maybe the left arm comes under the left leg and you can meet your hands at your left hip. You've taken your bind, go ahead and work your way back into the original position. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the left knee. Reach far forward with the left fingertips. Left arm goes down, right arm goes up. Triangle. Again, option for a little bind. Right hand comes behind, reaches towards the left hip. The left hand can come to the heart. Or you can keep the arms extended. The hand can be on a block, on the shin, on the ground. Notice where your weight is in your left foot. Is it all the way into the big toe? Is it on the little toe side? Can you even it out? If you'd like to play with the arms a little bit, we're going to inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, find the bind. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, find the bind. One more time. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bind. Stay. Inhale, come all the way up nice and slow. Re-extending the arms. Bring left toes parallel to the right toes. Hands behind the back. Clasp the hands together. Root the knuckles down, lift through the chest. Inhale. 
Exhale, fold. Start to drop the head down towards the mat. Start to let the arms come off the low back. So it doesn't have to be all the way. Maybe it can a little bit. If it's super uncomfortable, you can release it and just take a regular wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, come up very slowly. All the way up. Turn the left toes back towards the front of the room. Inhale, arms parallel to the mat. Exhale, bend into the left knee. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands come down to frame the front foot. Step back, add a flow in between the sides if you like. Take a few breaths here. As I turn my fan on. Ooh, it's warm in here. Sun. Taking the bind, go ahead and work to release it. Find your way back to the original position. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Reach far forward. Right arm goes down, left arm goes up. Option to stay, option to bind. Left hand behind, right hand to the heart. Option to stay, option to extend the arms with an inhale, and exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, hold. Look down at the right foot. Look at the little movements that the foot is doing. It's just and something interesting to look at. Inhale, come all the way back up. Re-extend the arms, bend the right knee. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel it down. Option to flow, option for down dog, option for child's pose. Two more breaths here. As you exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk step or hop forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands down to heart center, alongside the body. 
Find your way into mountain pose. Take a few breaths there. Take a sip of water if you like. Grab a sweat towel. All right, let's do it. Starting from mountain pose at the top of your mat. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees, lift the arms. Slowly start to unweight the left leg. Peel the left foot off of the mat. Cross it over the right leg. Maybe it stays here. Maybe you bring the toes down towards the mat. Maybe you wrap behind. And then finding our eagle arms. So bringing the right arm over top of the left. Maybe back to back. Maybe you take the extra wrap. Eagle pose. Squeeze the legs together. That's going to help. Bend the knee a little more. Find a gaze that's not moving. Two more blows to play with it. Slowly start to release the left leg. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. Stand up straight with the right leg. Exhale, press back, warrior three. Keep those eagle arms if you can. If you can't, that's okay. You can let them go. Really press the left heel back. Strong in that right leg. Feel strong. Press into all parts of that right foot. Don't let all your weight wrap onto the pinky side. Drop the left toes. High lunge. Keep the eagle arms if you've got them. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Lift up, look up. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, curl in. Last time, inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, back to neutral. Unwind the arms. Hands come parallel to the earth. To the earth. Fingertips facing up. From here, inhale, lengthen the right leg. Maybe lift up off of the right heel. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift up. Maybe lift the heel. Exhale, lower back down. One more time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower back down. Hands come down to frame the front foot. Step back. Option for a flow. Option for down dog. Option for child's pose. One more breath here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward. Walk step or hop forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands down to heart center and alongside the body, finding our mountain pose. We'll do that on the other side, starting with our chair pose. Bend the knees, lift the arms. Slowly start to unweight the right foot, lift the right heel, lift the right toes, cross it over. Maybe you double wrap, maybe you don't. Maybe you kick stand. And then taking the left arm over the right, finding our full eagle pose. Two more breaths to play with it. Slowly straightening the left knee as you bring the right knee towards the chest. Exhale, press back, warrior three. See if you can keep those eagle arms. My left leg doesn't want to play today. Drop the right toes, lift up, high lunge. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, curl in. Last time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, extend the arms by the sides. 
Palms facing out, fingertips facing up. Inhale, lengthen the left leg, maybe lift the heel. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rebend. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rebend. Hands come down, frame the front foot, step it back. Two breaths here. Bend the knees. Look forward, walk, step, or hop forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Take the feet a little bit wider. Turn the toes apart. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, bend the knees, lower the hips. Let's find our way into Malasana. If you'd like to take a little twist here, you can take the left hand down out towards the left side of your mat. Twist right. Option to bind the left arm in front of the left leg, right arm reaches behind, and then clasp at the left hip. Two breaths here. Or you can just stay in the twist. Extend the bind if you have it, switch. Right arm down, left arm up, option to stay, option to bind. Re-extend if you've taken the bind. Both hands come back into heart center. Lower the butt, lift the legs, boat pose, inhale. Exhale, lower and hover. Inhale, boat, bring the knees in. Exhale, lower and hover. Inhale, boat. Exhale, lower, hover, stay. And then drop all the way down onto the mat. From here, bring the shins parallel to the mat, so like you're sitting in a chair. We're gonna find reclined eagle pose. We're going to bring right leg over left leg first, left arm over right arm. So we've been here before, this is just different. We're going to do some eagle crunches here. As you inhale, lengthen the leg and the arm. Exhale, crunch everything in, bring the elbow in towards the knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch it in. One more time, this side, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lengthen and unwind. We'll switch sides. Left leg goes over the right leg. Maybe you double wrap. Right arm goes over the left arm. Stay here, pause. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbows to knees. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, lengthen. Last time. And unwind. Drop down onto your mat. Take two breaths here. Feel heavy into the mat. Feel every part of your body that contacts with the ground. And then bring the knees into the chest and start to rock up and down along the spine. Maybe you get enough momentum to come up to standing. Work your way into a mountain pose. Use your hands if you need to. We're going to work our way into our last standing flow. This one is a wild thing to fall in triangle flow. So I'm going to take a moment and show you what that looks like before we get there. I don't want you to be confused once we get there because it is tricky. It's a lot of left, right legs and arms going everywhere. Super fun. All right, I'm gonna get you back to downward facing dog. So just take a breather here. I'm gonna have you lift a leg. Then that leg is gonna come halfway under. Shoot out towards the opposite side as we roll onto that side. So it's like a side plank sort of with the left leg kicked under. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into wild thing on the opposite side. So the right hand comes down, left leg flips all the way over as you lift the chest. And then you can play with it and go on each side. And then we'll move back. I'll give you a few moments to play with it. You can stay in one pose or the other. You can play with going back and forth. It's a fun thing 
We worked open the shoulders, so that should help. Okay, that's how we did all that shoulder work. All right, moving back into our mountain pose. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, find downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, lift the left leg high. Skip this part if you like, left knee, left elbow. You know, I like my elbow taps. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee comes halfway under the body. Shoots out towards the right side. You transfer your weight onto the left foot. Maybe the right arm lifts. All right, we're gonna switch sides. Right hand comes down, left leg flips all the way over, chest lifts. Switch sides, left hand down, left leg under, right arm up. Keep going. A few moments to play with it. Work your way back to down dog when you're done. Moving into the other side. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee in towards the nose, so bring it halfway under. Shoot it over towards the left side. Body weight transfers the right hand, left arm lifts. Switch, left hand down, right leg. Swings over as you lift the chest. Switch, right hand down, left leg under, left arm up. Keep going. Maybe you choose one pose and just stay there. Work your way back to down dog when you're done playing. Taking a child's pose, bring the knees down, send the hips back to the heels. Two more breaths here. From here, come up into your tabletop position. Come to sit down on the seat. Bring the legs out in front of you. And take the legs nice and wide. Sit up nice and tall. Feel the backs of the legs. Press into the mat. Bring the right foot in towards the left inner thigh. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, side bend over to the left. The right arm can extend over the ear or it can reach towards the foot. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. Big side stretch in the right side body. Feel the right ribs expand. Slowly, inhale, lift back up, reach both arms up towards the sky, and then bring the right hand, press it behind you, press into the left heel and the right shin and lift up, lift the chest. Back bend. Slowly start to lower back down. Work your way back into the side bend. Swing the arms around. Inhale, lift up. Find your back bend. Plant the hand. Lift up. Exhale, find your way back to the side bend. I'll give you a few breaths to play with it. You can go back and forth. You can stay in one pose or the other if you like. Find your way into your side bend and stay. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, release. Switch sides. Right leg goes long, left leg bends. 
Lift the chest, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, side bend to the right. Pause here, take a few breaths. Feel the connection of the right hand into whatever you have, the foot, the shin. Feel the warmth of the hand, or maybe the cool touch of the hand. Inhale, lift back up. Plant the left hand behind you as you lift up. Extend the right arm behind you, lift the chest. Exhale, lower back down, side bend. Inhale, lift up, plant the hand, press up. Exhale, lower back down, side bend. Keep going. Take it a few times with your own breath or pause in the pose that feels better for you. Working your way back into the side bend to hold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, relax the hands down by the sides. Extend both legs in front of you, toes up towards the sky. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, press the chest towards the thighs. When the chest doesn't go anymore, relax the hands. You can relax the forehead if it feels okay towards the legs. Two more breaths here. Re-engage, inhale, lift everything back up. Exhale, relax the hands down by the sides, bend the knees, make sure you have plenty of room behind you. Lift the arms up, slowly start to lower down. Using that last little bit of core work here. Go as slow as you can go. Find your way onto your back. Keep the knees bent when you get there. Let's bring the right ankle over top of the left thigh. Open the hip. Should feel nice. Option to stay. Option to bring the left leg in towards the face, clasping either the back of the leg or the top of the shin. Option to find stillness. Option to rock from side to side. Maybe you find a space that feels particularly good and you just kind of hang out there. Rocking is also good for the nervous system. It's very calming. So whenever you feel anxious, you just come down into like happy baby or this and just rock back and forth. You just tell people that your yoga teacher told you it was okay. back to center. Release and switch. Right leg comes down. Left leg crosses over. Open the knee. Option to stay. Option to bring the right leg in towards the face and clasp behind the thigh or top of the shin. Option for stillness. Option for that rocking motion. A little bit of movement here. back down to the mat, and then bring the knees, both knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze, and then feet up towards the sky, grab the insides or the outsides of the feet, happy baby. Try to bring the knees towards the armpits or towards the ground, really lengthening through the back. So if you're, you find your tailbone lifting up off of the mat, change your grip to the backs of your thighs and see if that helps. You really want full contact with the entire back here. Feel into that contact. Really feel heavy into the mat. Again, you have the option to rock from side to side if you like. And 
And then from here, slowly dropping the toes, moving in toward your Shavasana. Take any final movements before you get there that you need. Any stretches, any wiggles. Moving into your rest pose, whatever that rest pose looks like for you today. When you get there, take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out of the mouth. And slowly beginning a full body scan. Feel the heels press into the mat. Feel the backs of the calves touching the mat. Feel the thighs. Feeling the glutes. Feel the entire back pressing into the mat, the arms, the back of the neck, the back of the head. And feeling a wave of relaxation coming from the top of the head all the way down to the toes, taking a few moments to just be. Deepening the breath, deepening the inhales, lengthening exhales. Invite life back into the body by wiggling fingers, toes, circling ankles, wrists. If you'd like to take a big stretch, stretching the arms overhead, inhale, stretch everything from fingertip to toe tip. And exhale, let it go. Roll over onto the right side of the body, staying there for a few breaths. Bridging the gap in between total stillness and the rest of your day. Pressing yourself up to seated whenever you're ready. Take your time. Bringing the hands into heart center. When you get there, lowering the chin slightly as a gesture of honoring yourself and your own practice for honoring your body. Gratitude towards what it does. Closing with an om. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out of the mouth. Inhale for Om. Thank you for letting me guide you through practice this morning. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. Hang on, I'm going to check the time. Oh, I have 38 seconds left. Okay, so 25% of all of my classes in June are going to the LGBT Life Center since it's Pride Month. If you need my donation info, you can always hit me up. Thanks, everybody. Bye.